Hello there and welcome back to my channel to my regular, irregular and new subscribers. So nice to have you on board. Well, we're just going to mosey on to our third stop of this lovely UK trip. Enjoy. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and possibly see my subscriber number rise. And uh, don't forget, watch right to the end. That's what does my channel the world of good. John, our host at the Duke of Albany, suggested that we stop at Ab Abbotsbury on our way to Kilcampton. And we did.
What a beautiful village. Abbotsbury is situated amidst hills about one mile inland from the English Channel coast at Chessel Beach. The coastline within the parish of Abbotsbury includes a section of 18 mile long Chessel Beach that is part of the Jurassic Coast, a World Heritage Site. In the 2011 census, the civil parish had a population of 481. Well, we walked the length of that street and it was just beautiful. In the late 17th and early 18th centuries, Abbotsbury experienced several fires, resulting in the destruction of virtually all its medieval buildings. Most of the historic secular buildings in the village today were built from stone in the 17th and the 18th centuries. The modern village still has a long street of stone houses, many of which are thatched, with some dating from the 16th century. The street broadens at one point into an old market square. Parts of the street have raised pavements. The village is surrounded by hills on all sides except to the east. In 1905, Sir Frederick Treves described Abbotsbury as being a very pleasant situated among the Downs. Dorset-born broadcaster and writer Ralph Whiteman described the village as possibly the most interesting in Dorset. One and a half miles northwest of the village, at the top of Weirs Hill, are the earthworks of Abbotsbury Castle, an Iron Age hill fort. During the Second World War, the coastal front was fortified and defended as part of the British anti-invasion preparations of World War II. And later, the Fleet Lagoon was used as a machine gun training range and bouncing bombs were tested there for Operation Chastise, the Dam Buster. Abbotsbury was the location oh, for a beautiful. small Royal Observer Corp bunker, and it was located no near Abbotsbury Hill. Oh, it was opened in 1959 and closed in 1968. Oh, God, it, it remains mostly intact. Well, we had a long walk, a good early start to our day, but we sure were ready for some refreshments, which we enjoyed at the old schoolhouse. After this most <coughs> pleasant interlude, we carried on our way. Hallsworthy was the next stop and much needed refreshments and we looked and looked, searched and searched, walked and walked and found none. Apart from passing traffic, there was absolutely nothing happening here. So we just walked back to the car and carried on our way. That's a pity Holsworthy would love to have enjoyed a nice cup of tea here. <laughs> <laughs> 